18 Signs You Are an Ambivert An ambivert is someone who falls in the middle of the introvert-extrovert continuum. Ambiverts have a blend of traits from both introverts and extroverts, as well as their own unique strengths. Ambiverts are fascinating individuals who can be excellent conversationalists as well as excellent listeners. But that's only part of the story. That means that there will be times when you would want to party hard with everyone you know, and then there will also be times when you would want to left alone with nobody bothering you. Where introverts are better at listening to others, compared to extroverts who love to talk, you as an ambivert will have no trouble indulging in either. Whether you behave more extroverted or introverted depends on the situation you are in, and most importantly your mood. So, how do you know if you're truly an ambivert? Chance are, you already have a pretty good idea. While every ambivert is unique, there are common experiences that many of them share. If you relate to most of these signs, you might be an ambivert. 1. You love to be alone as well as have people around you. There are days when you want to stay in your little bubble and your own little world, but there are also days when you want to paint the town red. Alone time and socializing are both appealing to you, it just depends on your mood and what you are feeling like doing. You are fine with both of these scenarios. 2. You are an amazing listener. The best thing about being an ambivert is that you can perfectly strike a balance between conversing and listening. You might love talking to people, but you also know when to be quiet and simply listen to someone else talking. You do not always look to be in the limelight, and can be perfectly happy in content just listening to other people talk at times. 3. You feel bored if you have too much alone time. Just like too much socializing bums you out after a point, too much alone time can end up making you feel bored and down. Introverts can spend time alone forever if given the opportunity, but unlike them, you crave for some human company when you have had enough of your personal space. 4. You love good conversations but also respect silence. Unlike extroverts who love to talk, talk, and then talk some more, you value silence a lot. You might be blessed with the gift of the gab, but you acknowledge silence when it is needed. You never feel the need to fill up the silence with a superficial conversation, and unnecessary comments as the occasional silence does not make you uncomfortable in any way. 5. You are always happy with your weekend shenanigans. Whether you choose to stay at home for the weekend or go out partying, you are always happy with whatever you do. Being an introvert or an extrovert means either not doing anything at all, or going absolutely crazy, with you, you are fine with either of the options. You will thoroughly enjoy yourself sitting at home binging on movies, and you will also enjoy yourself dancing at the hottest party in town. Six. You like small talk, but you adore deep conversations. Introverts despise small talk and stay miles away from it, and always look to have deeper and more intimate conversations. Extroverts are more on the chatty side, and love talking about anything and everything, and don't really think too much about deeper conversations. Ambiverts are fine with both, though you have a soft corner for deep and philosophical conversations more. 7. You like teamwork as well as being the soul fighter. Again. Balance is the middle name of ambiverts and they do a good job in group projects as well as in projects in which they have to work alone. They have the talent and confidence of going at it alone, but they also value teamwork and working together collectively. 8. You know how to balance everything out. You have a tendency to balance out whoever you're with, if you're with someone loud, you'll be quieter. If they're quiet, you'll compensate for that and bring out your energetic, extroverted side. That is why, you are the life of the party as well as the wise soul in the group, depending on the kind of people you are with. 9. You can get along with everyone very easily. Since you have both introverted and extroverted traits, you find it easy to get along with everyone. If you are hanging out with an introvert, your own introverted side will come out, and if you are hanging out with an extrovert, your extroverted traits will be dominant. You can mix with various kinds of personalities with the utmost ease. 10. You are intuitive. You're known to be quite intuitive and good at picking up signals that other people can miss. You have a keen eye and are very good at gauging people and their real intentions, which is why most of your friends always come to you for good and truthful advice. That is why even though you have many friends when it comes to close friends, you have only a few. 11. You like the limelight, but not too much of it. You like being the center of attention, and you love it when people praise, acknowledge and appreciate you. But you might actually be an ambivert when the spotlight becomes too much for you, and you feel the need to escape from it. When everything becomes too much, you can't wait to shift it in someone else, or simply go back home into your little bubble. 12. You have tons of friends, along with a few close friends. Introverts like being friends with just a few people who they can fully trust, whereas extroverts can be friends with literally anyone and everyone. 
and Biverts tend to have both, they have innumerable people as friends, but also a few close friends who they trust completely and consider like family in their lives. 13. You are emotionally steady in almost every situation. Extroverts tend to thrive in louder and more happening places, whereas introverts prefer quieter places and situations. An extrovert will feel emotionally unstable and uncomfortable in quiet places, and an introvert will find it challenging to behave normally in loud places. But, if you are an ambivert, you will flourish in both these situations, due to your adaptable nature. You will feel at the place at a rock concert, as well as at a yoga retreat. 14. You love to talk, but not all the time. Introverts prefer to be quiet in a conversation, or talk when they think is the right time for them to talk. Extroverts on the other hand sometimes don't know when to stop talking. Ambiverts fall right in the middle of this spectrum. They rely on their intuition and read the room before they put in their two cents. If you notice that you have no difficulty making the right decision about when to talk, and when to listen, then you might be an ambivert. 15. You feel drained if you socialize too much. Even though you love meeting your friends, and spend time with them, too much of it can end up draining you. The essence of being an ambivert is being balanced, and anything in excess is not something you like. Too much of mingling with people will make you crave for some alone time, which can help you recharge yourself. 16. You find it tough to assert yourself at times. If you are an ambivert, you know how tricky it can be for you to assert yourself and make your point in certain situations. You end up feeling confused about when you should intervene and give your opinion, or when you should just keep your mouth shut. Though when you really try, you nail it. 17. You relate to both introverts and extroverts. When you read something on the internet about introverts, you say oh, that's me. And when you read something about extroverts, you say, oh, that's me too. That's the beauty of being an ambivert, you get to experience the best of both worlds, and that is why people always have a great time with you. 18. You can be indecisive at times. Because you like to spend alone time and socialize equally, that leads you to feel confused and indecisive at times. You might feel it's a better idea to stay at home, but then you think about all the fun you can have outside. Similarly, when you think about going out, you might want to stay in. This indecisiveness of yours sometimes stresses you out to no end. So, did you relate to most of these traits here? If yes, then congratulations, you might be an ambivert.